Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel here. Katya here. And today uh, in this YouTube hop I will create some A to C cards. And you see I have packaging materials and they are perfect uh, for the base to create uh, A to C cards. And I will create many cards but I will only show you three. So uh, let us start and I start to paint uh, with black heavy gesso so I can uh, work on that. So paint always gesso on the surface where you want to paint so you can do anything you like on the surface. Yes, be sure to visit all the channels, subscribe, leave a comment, and the price will be three wonderful goodie bags from uh, Finabar products. So be sure to give the thumbs up to all the videos. Incredible uh, things will come. And I have icing paste, vintage gold and old silver. It's a gorgeous metallic paste that give a uh, surface uh, in metallic shades. And I like to mix gold and silver. Many of you doesn't think it work, but yes, of course it work. In mixed media, everything works. Stencils, I use the dandelions and gothic stencil from Finamer. Uh, so I to do different one. And you see, I take both the silver and the gold on the spatula. And it comes out really nicely, metallic and uh, effectful I think. So I do here two dandelion, uh, dandelions and blend it and uh, I think they are just gorgeous. What's important uh, I think always that you must clean your stencil and before I clean perhaps I have tags or scrapbooking paper or something else and I clean my stencil and here I had a, a journal page nearby. So I'm cleaning them. If you don't have water in your craft room or space, uh, I clean them uh, with baby wipes. And I, you can also take first one color and then the other one and do around. So here the gorgeous gothic stencil. Uh, that's just wonderful. Now I have some packaging. It's not from Prima or Finabar. It's for food packaging for something you eat for breakfast and berries here in Sweden. So I simply cut out and there are like uh, some date stamps on them uh, and I don't mind them. I think they give a great effect. So I have cut them out and I have uh, draw a circle and I will cut them out. You can also, if you have a, a die cutting machine, you can use it, but I think it goes perfectly by scissors and cutting around. Okay, my cuts are going to soon be dry and I have different kinds of resin uh, parts and I have um, cut them into smaller pieces and now I'm using a sponge to color them black um, and I'm adding a little bit of water so it's go more easy and uh, I see I'm tapping and also spraying some water on it because in the small gaps I want it also to be black. Now I have the gorgeous gorgeous uh, uh, liquid acrylic paint. I have burnt sienna and ink black and you can wonder why she will put black on black and the burnt sienna because it was not a show. No, but the liquid acrylic paints are glossy when they uh, are dry and I like them this surface to be a little bit glossy and the liquid acrylic paint uh, fasten stay in the edges of the paste and I think it gives a gorgeous effect. I spray a little bit water on it so it will uh, 
move naturally into uh, the edges of the uh, icing paste. I think it gives more of a toned down effect and I leave them for drying. Okay, it's time to put sentiments and these sentiments are from the Art Daily collection from Finaver. Small uh, sentiments and there are also uh, like uh, quotes and like things like that but I will uh, keep only uh, some words like magic and dreams and secrets I think that's perfect for this ATC cards uh, I have some ink on the edges and I also have the soft matte gel and I will glue them the sentiments have a little bit glue on them on the back side, but I want to sure that they will stick and the soft matte yellow will stay a little bit before it uh, will uh, stick. But when it has stick, it stay there. So I add them because I had the plan for my circles and I want these words to be there. Like... Um, magic words like uh, secrets to your heart or to believe in your dreams and like that. Okay, time for some texture uh, paste, the graphite paste, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous paste. And this time I will not paint over it because I do that many times. I paint over it and not today. And um, I add only a little bit because I want to incorporate my sentiments in the in the words here. So I'm adding with the spatula and also picking it uh, with the spatula around and the brush to still show the words but uh, have a little bit of the paste because when the paste dry it's sparkling black and sparkling. And I like these ATC cards to be just sparkling. Okay, they are dry. Now it's time for the 3D matte gel. The gel that you, uh, you can use for uh, gluing things also like a paste. But here I will glue the the molds pieces what I have and I will also try to glue the plastic blister circles a uh, little bit tricky but and you cannot heat on it uh, later on so uh, this time I will not use any heating gun uh, I will leave them for some hours to dry so you see here I do some preparations where I want to add them and I also change a little bit where I want to have the 3D material and I have some glass glitter and that's also from Finnabar and I add it here and there because I want my art ATC just to be a little bit sparkly. Glitter in any shapes, oh I just love it. So and now also on the molds on the top and the blister, it will stay there. And I push it a little bit and I will leave them for drying. And uh, I'm sitting near the window and the sun is coming there. So I leave them there. So I think it can took about a couple of hours to have them dry. So be sure to visit all the gorgeous channel of the Finnabar team and subscribe to all the channels and please leave a lovely comment what, uh, what you think about the ATC cards and uh, there will be three goodie bags, gorgeous products from the Finnabar products and yes the Finnabar products is just amazing. It's a real treasure to open a new product, a new paste or something. Oh, I just love it. So be sure to watch 
all the videos in this hub and to uh, I hope we all give you some inspiration in this small piece of art and that's exactly it was ATC is our uh, it's trading cards so do some training do ATC cards and trade uh, with some friends and to have a lot of gorgeous inspiration now on my table you see a lot of uh, products and I have uh, embellishments uh, in metallic, uh, these wings and some pebbles and numbers and uh, things like that. Uh, I will glue them and I could use a paste here also, but uh, I was choosing a glue because um, I don't know, I could use a glue gun also, but I don't like the glue gun. So now it's time to glue and the paste underneath, it's not completely dry, but it's dry enough for me to work for the second layer. So I'm gluing, I have some gold thread and silver thread for embroidery and I will also I'm having some black flowers and I'm uh, gluing them in a cluster so my blister circle and I try to frame my words with flowers and some metallics uh, and uh, these pebbles from uh, older collection from Prima and uh, also some uh, numbers and letters and this is what my ATC cards are just about numbers and letters uh, secret numbers and letters and that's why I glue the numbers perhaps a little bit odd like the metallic number two it's upside down because it's like, yes, secrets. Secrets of numbers and letters. So I do the same with all the ATC cards, add wings, uh, numbers and letters and the flowers. And I'm very careful to not destroy the blister. Um, So I'm doing the same to frame my secrets word. And uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. And I hope you will enjoy this time. And you see, I have a sunny afternoon here on my table. And uh, now they are... Um, uh, a little bit dry. It's now, uh, now time to do, uh, I will do a mixative. I'm using the soft matte gel and uh, it's a very thin gel and it's perfect for gluing um, glitter and uh, papers and um, things like that. But here I will do uh, my own mix. I will add gold glitter, silver glitter and uh, one some like uh, whitish glitter of something and I mix them and take around that and mix them and I need to have a really small and I add a little bit more here and now I try to add them on the edges of my blister circles and this can be a little bit tricky but it works and like again I cannot use the heating gun I leave my ATC cards to dry by themselves I'm adding a little bit glitter uh, on the flowers um, perhaps some of the on the cards and I'm adding some micro beads on some pl uh, places on the card and leave them for drying overnight. So I'm doing that with all my three and I think this will give, give some extra effect 
on the blister circle and the microbeads yes you lie I, I you know that i love them already you who follows me and i sprinkle them a little bit here and there yeah and now it's the day after and i need to add something a little bit more so i use the liquid acrylic paints again and i have them in many different shades and i add a little bit of them the paints and i have uh, burnt sienna and avocado green and other uh, yellows on my cards and i take little bit of them and adding on the metallic little bit about the card and little bit on the blister and leave them i'm not spraying water i'm very very careful to not have too much color uh, this is only to give my cards like a nice soft effect and um, yes it's give them a little bit more character and and that was exactly how i like it to give every card a little bit more character and that's so great when i will give them or trade them with some friends that everyone will be a little bit different and have a different character and uh, that's so fun with trading cards to share them and trade them with each other so i hope you really get inspira inspira inspired to trade i have here on this uh, card um, a tiger orange a little bit orange to give it char character and i'm so sorry that i have a little bit bad light here I hope you really enjoy my video and all the team's video. Be sure to leave all the videos also a thumb up. It helps the, all the channels in these times and hope you uh, had a good time watching. And uh, please come back when uh, some other time and hope you like my channel. So, what do you think? Magic, yes, magic with um, with the uh, ATC cards. So, hope you did have a great time. Thank you. See you soon again. Bye bye.